Hey folks, welcome to the third episode of Power Tips. In the last episode, we saw some of the tools that helps us for our day-to-day -day development activities. In this video, we are going to look at how to set up your computer to utilize those tools effortlessly. So let's check out the process after this quick intro. In this video, I'm only going to use a Windows machine. And as you know, a Windows machine have several settings that you could utilize like taskbar, desktop, or even a start menu. Now, as you can see, I have configured my desktop with very minimal, but I normally don't even like to use the uh, any icons from the desktop. Uh, the only reason is if I am on, let's say, a Visual Studio code is open on my machine. If I have to access something, I have to go to the desktop and that has to minimize everything that I have opened is not a good interface. So I normally do not keep anything on my desktop. I just hide all the icons from the desktop. That's, what, that's just me, right? Uh, but that setting is still available to you if you want to put something on the desktop. You can still create a shortcut of it. Now, the other thing that I like to do is create my taskbar in a way that I use those tools in day-to-day -day activities. Like for example, I use Visual Studio Code each and every day. So my Visual Studio Code is actually pinned on my taskbar. So it's easy to do that. You have to go uh, in the start menu and then search for Visual Studio Code and then you just right click it and then say uh, pin to taskbar. Once you say pin to taskbar, then you would see Visual Studio Code appear over here and you can drag it, drop it wherever you want. Uh, I normally like to keep it uh, here itself. Uh, no reason, it's my preference, right? Uh, but the good thing is when you keep your Visual Studio Code on your taskbar, and you click on it, it starts with the last opened folder. So as you can see, I was working on Dataverse DevTools and it just opened up Dataverse DevTools automatically for you, right? pretty cool yeah it saves so much of time and effort to go and do the search and then find where Visual Studio code is right uh, just put it on the taskbar the rest of the tools you won't see it on the taskbar but you can certainly put them over there I just don't like my taskbar to be overcrowded with a lot of things so I normally try to put them on my start bar the reason why I want to put them on the uh, start bar is pretty simple because again, as I said, when I am using Visual Studio Code or when I'm doing something, let's say I'm, I'm taking a notes or I'm in a meeting, I don't want to all the time go on my desktop or even see it on the taskbar. But the easy way of doing that is from your start menu. So in your start menu, you can see that I have pinned a lot of this tools over here for easy access. So even if I'm say I am on my um, Visual Studio Code, I'm doing some coding, but then I want to open Fiddler. I can just click a uh, Windows key and there you go, right? I can, now I can use Fiddler over here. I can open Postman, I can open uh, XRM Toolbox, whatever I want, I can open it directly from here. Now pinning something on the uh, on your start menu is also pretty simple. So for example, I want to pin, let's say Fiddler and I just search for Fiddler, I right click it and then I say pin to start and that's it, right? Pretty straightforward. Now, once you look at all these um, all these applications, once you pin it, it's going to pin and put it in the end. Now, you don't want to keep on scrolling. If you, if this is your machine where you do heavy coding and you use development um, tools all the time, then the preferred method is to take some time. It takes not more than a few minutes to configure your start menu. Don't keep it out of the box. Out of the box has a lot of junk. So redesign your start menu in a way that you keep all your apps that you need on on here, right? So I have my Visual Studio 2019, Visual Studio 2022, Visual Studio, XM Toolbox, Postman, Fiddler, 
all the things that I need on my day-to-day -day activities, all of them are over here, right? Yeah. And I will also show you how this looks on uh, Windows 10 machine as well. So on Windows 10 machine, this is how my start menu used to look like. See how big it was, uh, too many apps. Uh, but yeah, it the apps actually used a lot of space over there. So that's why you see a lot of these um, categories created. The nice thing about Windows 10 was I was able to create some categories which I'm not able to do in Windows 11 machine. Hopefully they bring that feature back. Uh, but that is some, something that we cannot do in Windows 11 machine and I'm missing that feature right now. But you can see that I have development as one group. I have all my uh, applications over there. Then I have my creator uh, group. My uh, office is at one place. So it's all categorized, right? So it looks really neat. So now going back to my start menu. Now these are all the apps that I have. And then I can always click on all apps and I can search for any app. But uh, now, if you are going to use any application for everyday life, then I would always recommend putting it in the pin. For example, I keep on creating videos and I have uh, editors or I'm, I am uh, giving some seminars. I use OBS or uh, for editing, I use Camtasia and for editing images, I use Adobe uh, Photoshop. So you will see that all of those are over here as well, right? So I don't have to keep on searching for those applications uh, every now and then. So just keep that in mind. That's a good thing to do. So the other cool thing that I want to show you guys is this thing called Stream Deck. And the cool thing about this is it has all these buttons for easy access. So as you can see, I have all my applications on the top, right? So I have my, uh, my Slack, Teams, uh, Telegram, uh, this is Discord, uh, where I can access all my uh, gaming thing or even the power platform level up community is on Discord as well. And then I have all these applications down here. And then the below is my OBS scenes. And then I also have this button which goes to uh, next screen. I can do next screen and then I can have this color picker which is really excellent thing. I've not configured the second page because it was too much work for me. So I didn't configure that. Uh, but as you can see, I have uh, all this easy access like Fiddler, Postman and just by uh, a button click, I can access all these applications. So it's a nice, cool little thing. Uh, if you want to uh, grab it, you can go to Alligato Stream Deck. It's pretty nice. This is the medium version, I guess. They have also have a smaller version as well. They have a bigger 16, 16 keys, um, big one too. Uh, this one was sufficient for me, so I went with this one. But yeah, make sure that you spend some time, configure your computer in a way that you don't spend time uh, searching for applications or searching for tools. I've seen people, especially with XRM Toolbox, uh, what they do is, or plugin registration tool for that instance, they keep it somewhere in documents or on C drive somewhere, and then every time they have to access it, they access it via like searching them and then they could don't find it uh, or they remember where the folder is and they go and navigate the folders which is like it takes five minutes just to go to the folder or it takes two minutes to do the search you can save those two minutes and sometimes those two minutes are really crucial because you have, you have something in your mind and you want to put it right or you want to do that activity now if you spend two times two minutes searching for that or or five minute going to that folder, sometimes your thought process changes and, you know. So yeah, uh, just make sure that you're configuring a computer so you can do work more efficiently. Okay, well, that's it guys. Hopefully this video was useful. So if you like this video, then I'm pretty sure that you would like these two videos as well. So do check them out and leave the comment below. Thank you.